All right, today we're actually going to start building an engine lift for the Saturn, which is parked outside. I'm going to take you over here to a little uh, drawing that I put together, hopefully kind of give you an idea of what we're doing. Then we're going to walk through the parts, supplies that we're going to use to make this. All right, so this is the idea. What we're going to do is build two four-inch or two four-foot legs coming up to seven and a half foot beams coming across to eight foot beams and then we're going to have some gusset supports coming down to the other side and then if you look over here you'll actually have some more supports coming this way the engine will be right here and um, I don't know if you can kind of see that very well but that's kind of what we're going to be making just a really rough draft and so what we've done so far we've cut two four foot uh, two by fours these ones are seven and a half feet long. These ones are going to actually be the side post. And then we've got uh, two four inch or two four foot pieces here and then two seven and a half uh, feet here. And we've got some more stuff. And then I'm going to also show you how we're going to use the angle iron and just some flat metal to reinforce it. And we've got some parts and a little hoist right here. So we're going to kind of set you on the tripod and show you what we're going to need. To get started, we'll also put a parts list down below in the description box. So if you guys want to build this at home, I think we're in it about $100 uh, with parts. And figure you're going to rent a cherry picker. It's going to cost you at least 60 to 70 bucks to rent it. And with just a chop saw and some screws and it's a little bit of hardware, you can build it for less than that. All right, so we're going to start it. Now what we've done so far, if you look down here, I've got my little uh, T-square. I'm going to square this up. I measured half of this is 24 inches, so that's where my line is. And I just measured this, made sure it's square. And then we cut these at 45, and we will just mount these all, get them in place. And I'm going to take my little plate, and I'm going to hammer that in. And put my nail in. Push that in, hammer that, okay, and then we will do the same thing on these edges and these edges, then we'll flip it over and we'll bring that one and we'll do the exact same thing on that one over there, nail it together, put it on top of this one, and nail them both together so like a big sandwich. Okay, now we have two separate pieces that we've just angled together with that angle iron. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to nail them together. So what I have is two and a quarter inch nails. I'm going to start in the middle, work my way out, go all the way up to the top, and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, what we've done, we put a couple nails in it on this side, down there, up here, all the way up to the top. Now what I'm going to do is come over to the other side and just kind of offset the nails going in this way, okay, to kind of help squish it this way. Alright, so there you have it. Pretty much built this whole side and pretty much built this whole side. Matter of fact, they're done. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to stand these up. So we're going to take it and we're going to stand this one up. We'll stand this one up. And we will figure out how to go across the top with the rest of the wood that we have here. You want to go ahead and stand that one up, Brandon? Yep. Brandon, grab the other one. 